Entrepreneurial Summit, and I really love this part of my job. Uh, people ask me, why did I get into broadcasting? It's because I get to meet the coolest people. <laughs> and one of the cool people I get to chat with today happens to be Yvonne DeVita. And she and I go back many years, like 2019, 2018. Mm -hmm. uh, we started bumping into each other in our various uh, works because I was doing author podcasting at that time. And so what I wanted to share with you is the book that she sent me, which is the How to Write a Book book. We, we love this uh, title. I actually giggled a lot about it. You can see my little bookmark here. Um, I have highlighted it because one of the best pages on this, it, this is totally my opinion, and I'm very biased, is page 81, which is the marketing tools and tactics of becoming the author of blah, blah, blah. And so I wanted to say thank you for being with us today, Yvonne. Oh, Janine, you do not know how excited it makes me every time I hear from you. I, I give every single one of my authors your author podcasting book. I make them buy it. I make them understand how to create a media page. So this is a big thing. This media page is so huge and nobody does it. So thank you. Thank you for her um, having me here. Uh, no problem. So one of the things that Yvonne and I love about each other is the fact that we are uh, very good collaborators because we're not in direct competition. I have no desire to help an author get on the number one bestselling uh, list for Amazon, which Yvonne does very well. And you've heard me talk about the value of that, depending upon where you're going, what part of marketing strategy you're using, and where you want to take your speaking engagements. But what we're here to talk about today, and Yvonne's going to walk us through a few things, uh, is how to get you in a place where you're making money very quickly. And it really starts uh, at the very beginning, even before you start writing your book. But not everybody has the, the courage to do <laughs> yeah. what we're going to talk about. Mm -hmm. So realize no matter where you are in that process, Yvonne's going to bring up some tips. And it doesn't matter. I don't care if you already have five books out. Mm -hmm. Still focus on what Yvonne's going to talk about because she's bringing out five points, Okay. And so, first of all, Yvonne, talk to us about what you did on LinkedIn Live today when you were talking about Taylor Swift. I'd love to hear about that. Well, we call it the Taylor Swift model of book marketing because here's the key, Janine. Taylor Swift doesn't wait around for things to happen to her, okay? There's a... Um, there's a favorite quote I have from Emile, I can't remember her last name, she's an aviator from the early uh, 1900s, and she said, um, I don't wait for things to happen to me, I like to go out and make things happen outside, and so we want things, uh, people to make things happen. Taylor Swift is very big on community, so what is a community? Community is important, because when you build that community before you publish your book, now you have a raving fan club. What is that fan club going to do? A, it's going to buy more books. It's going to want you to publish more books, but it's going to follow you and um, attend your webinars, workshops. If you're speaking, the, they're going to want to be where you're speaking. So she's very, very focused on serving this community. All right. So want you to build that community well ahead of publishing the book. Now, while you're building that community, I want you to start thinking, this book is a tool in my business. It doesn't matter how many copies I sell. What matters is how I get my message out and how I can use this book. And so one of the best ways is in a workshop, let's say a live workshop. You can start planning this live workshop before that book is published. You can start talking about it so that not only will everyone want to buy the book when it's published, but they'll want to come to the workshop and bring the book and have you sign it. Now, what about webinars? Webinars are huge today. Absolutely. You can do both workshops and webinars. They can collaborate or, or um, work together. And so you want that community, again, to be able to access all of this, by the way, website. Let's, let's build an author website, not just a landing page for the book, please. Let's build the actual author website that includes ways to connect with you, includes all your social channels, includes little tidbits and favorite things that you don't give anyone else, only people who are in your community. 
All right, again, these foster the ways that you're going to make money in these webinars and workshops, but also, big thing, Janine, every single author I talk to says they want to speak. Okay, speaking involves not just podcasts anymore. We're back on the speaking circuit. We're out there in front of people. You can get paid to speak. Speaking is where you promote your business and your book. Speaking is how you end up building that community even bit bigger, right? And this is what we want. We want to have a platform and a message. And this is why event planners love authors because authors have a message, right? They have a message and they generally know how to deliver it. Now, another thing that, that authors can do that they don't think about um, to build or, or to make money is by collaborating with others. So you build a collaboration, sort of like what we do, Janice, right. and you say, let's, let's do something together because you do this and I do this and wow, don't they marry together really well. When you have a book, Again, that brings more attention to the collaboration, especially if you have someone else who also has a book. And by the way, I will tell you on the Amazon bestseller status thing, two things. Um, it's very, very, very important that you understand your categories. And Amazon loves it if your forward writer also has a book on Amazon. They actually treat those books nicer. And you want to see that happen. So pick someone for a forward writer who has a book on Amazon. And by the way, don't shy away from someone you think is too famous. Or, or, or that literally that you think, oh, they'll never talk to me. I can't, I can't do them. No, uh, be brave, especially if you mention them in your book. Oh, my gosh, you're writing to me, Yvonne, I wrote about you in my book, where you write the foreword of my book. Worst I can do is say, well, I can't do it right now or no, I, but why not? Because now you've reached out, maybe now we're connected. So now you're in my network and I'm in yours, right? So that's a big thing about the Amazon and Amazon bestseller status. But um, I, I really want authors to build the strategy ahead of time on how they're going to recoup this investment and then make money. And the strategy involves what they're going to do during the writing of the book and then after the book is published. Um, and those are, those are the necessary steps to begin building your brand, enhancing your brand. And we could go on and on about how to market the book and the brand, which then also enhances your ability to make money. Uh, but I think those just, are the best ways. Yeah, I'm just going to pause you there because see, Yvonne has a brain that has <laughs> so much in it. <laughs> and one of the things that I was asking her about in the green room, because she has so much as I was just trying to focus her down to, we just want to talk about how they can make money. And she popped off right off the bat. She's like, they need to have an email list. They need to have a community that's engaged with them. They need to have workshops. They need to do webinars. And if they go out and speak. And so that was one of the things, like that was just right off the top of her head. And so I was like, okay, let's, let's focus on how they can make money. And one of the things that she talked about in the green room was the fact that when it comes to making money, realize your book has a very low profit margin. So focus on those activities where you have a high level of profit. And we were talking about the things that kind of irritate us or anger us about what we see authors doing. Talk to us about how much money you would spend at in-person events. Uh, you were sharing that with me uh, at, in the Oh, yes. Well, back in the days when I put on events, okay, I was part of a team that did blog posts, which is about pet blogging. And um, I was in charge of teaching the bloggers how to be better writers, of course. And those events, uh, we held them once a year. They moved from the East Coast to the West Coast so that people could bring pets because they were pet friendly. And they ran around $500,000 to put on the, and let me tell you a big part of that. The 70% of that budget was food and beverage, Janine. 
And we kept the registration low because we knew pet bloggers didn't have a lot of money. All the major pet brands came, all the new emerging pet brands came, and those events broke even. All the pet bloggers thought we were making money hand over fist. They thought we were walking home with money popping out of our pockets. And guess what? Not only were we not making money, we, after I think the third or fourth event, we started sharing with the bloggers and showing them what it cost to put on an event like that. And they were all astounded, just astounded. But the, in the end, we would get, so here's, here's the thing. We would get speakers, keynote speakers, who would allow us to donate to a shelter in lieu of a speaking fee. Now, how does that help you? I'll tell you the story of one speaker. One woman I contacted, she was a big name, and I thought she'll never get back to me. She'll never talk to me. I mean, what does she want to do? She's a big marketer in social media and everything. She's not going to want to come to our little conference. So I contacted her because she had written a post online about her shelter dog and how she had raised funds for him using crowdfunding. And I contacted her and she said, oh, let's talk about that. I don't, I don't know what I have to offer. And so we got on a thing, uh, uh, Zoom, just like this. And I said, look, here's what you have to offer. It doesn't matter that these are pet bloggers. They're trying to learn how to better themselves and work with brands that learn how to charge for what they do. I mean, that's a big thing also about writing a book. You need to know what your prices are. You need to know how to charge for your services. But, um, and she finally said, okay, okay. And I'll tell you right now, Janine, Two years later, she was a big name in the pet space. Two years later, she was now going around speaking to other pet conferences. And she would email me and say, this never would happen if you hadn't contacted me out of the blue. And talked about the shelter dog. So these are the things that we, Yvonne and I talk about a lot to our communities, which is it takes time to build. Yep. And as long as you're not in a hurry, and as long as you're just consistent, and that's the discipline, you're disciplined enough, you're writing a book. So we know you have the discipline to every week, you're doing little things that are going to move forward on your community through your email. And for me, I knew that I had to raise $3,500 in order to be able to publish a book. That was just my cost. People are like, oh my gosh, I would never spend that amount of money. I'm like, you didn't understand when I was writing this back in 2005. Yeah. And so it was a different time. <laughs> and uh, anyway, and, and so it would cost me about $3,500. So I would work at these little workshops and everything that I've had in line and I'd save up my pennies until I had $3,500. And then I'd publish my book mm -hmm. because I made a promise to myself, I would not to go into debt for my business. Mm -hmm. And so that is one of the, the things that Yvonne and I are very sympathetic go on. Mm -hmm. So any closing thoughts you'd like to leave us with today regarding what you know to be profitable for authors? Yeah, I want to go back to that what to charge for your services, because as an author of a book, you now have the opportunity to teach. And that's either webinars, workshops, speaking engagement, whatever it is. But after that, after they paid you to speak, or they joined your webinar, they're going to want to work with you. And this is where the money, money, money comes, Janine. They're going to say, but I would like some one-on-one -on -one coaching, or I would like you to mentor me or whatever. The authors need to have a clear and strategic plan on what they're going to offer beyond the web, web, webinars and workshops and speaking engagements and what it's going to cost. And you and I both know that everyone undersells themselves too much. So um, one, of my, one of my clients uh, is still doing some freelance work and she said, oh, I got this great gig and it's gonna be $100 an hour. And I said, stop, stop. You do not sell yourself by the hour. First of all, you sell yourself by the project. And if you're trying to figure out what the project cost is and you want to think about hourly rates, your hourly rate is at least $200 an hour. And she goes, oh, I don't know. And that's the big thing. Get yourself clear on what you're offering and what it's worth because people want to work with you. 
and you're offering them both your time, but your knowledge and your expertise. You are not selling them an hour of work. You're selling them a solution to a problem. Thank you so much, Yvonne. Thank you so much.